How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some really creepy footage. From the last known sightings of people that mysteriously disappeared, to inexplicable road accidents and ghost sightings. Join us as we count 11 mysterious videos that can't be explained. On the 30th of June 2014, 28-year-old Lars Matank and a group of friends went on a holiday to the seaside resort of Golden Sands in Bulgaria. During his stay, Matank got into a fight with a group of rival football fans and suffered a ruptured eardrum. He was then advised by a local doctor not to fly until his ear had fully healed and was unable to return home with his friends. Alone, Matank checked into a cheap hotel in the area. After just one night, he began to act very strangely. He sent a text message to his mother telling her that he didn't feel safe and that she should cancel his credit card. He also told her that he was hiding from four men who were following him. Apparently fearing for his safety, Matank then headed to Varna Airport where the security camera captured him entering. A few minutes later, Mitang can be seen running from the airport and into the parking lot. He was then seen climbing a fence and running through a meadow and into the nearby woods. Mitang was never seen again, and it was never discovered who or what he was running from at Varna Airport. To this day, Mitang's disappearance remains a mystery. This footage began surfacing around the middle of 2016. It shows a woman browsing items in a shopping mall. When an item mysteriously falls behind her, she turns and replaces it on the shelf. As soon as she replaces the item, she begins to act very strangely, almost as though an unseen force takes control of her body. She drops her shopping and begins to writhe uncontrollably. After falling to the floor, two other shoppers notice the woman. As one comes to her aid, the woman lets out a guttural scream. By this time, the commotion has attracted several other shoppers. She lets out yet another scream, this one more intense than the first. The scream seemed to have the power to push the onlookers back. As the man in black attempts to restrain her, the other onlookers gather closer. The woman begins calming down, but then suddenly she lets out one final almighty yell. This time it has the force to move objects in the store as well as cause the security camera to flicker. The other customers then help the woman to her feet and escort her away. This mysterious footage was recorded in 2003 from the CCTV of an unknown hotel. A member of the hotel staff is sent to investigate screams coming from room 209, which was thought to be empty at the time. As the man approaches the door, the screaming can be heard over the footage. What's going on, John? The voice of another member of staff can be heard advising the man to wait before entering the room as the police have been notified and are on their way. However, the man decides to enter the room anyway. Shortly after he enters, some sort of ghostly figure can be seen escaping down the hallway before the hotel lights begin to flicker. When the man exits the room, he appears startled. He says there was no one in the room, however all the furniture was turned upside down, the carpet was ripped up and the shower was running. The video abruptly ends without an explanation on what was happening in room 209. Was it a ghost or just a prank? If it was a prank, then how do you explain the ghostly figure seen leaving the room?
On the 14th of October 2009, two witnesses claimed to have seen a large triangular shaped object hovering above a hotel they were staying in at the time. The pair reported the strange occurrence to the authorities and a short time later two mysterious men dressed in black suits visited the hotel looking for the witnesses. This footage from the lobby security camera of the hotel shows the men walking into the building. The men asked to speak to the guests that had witnessed the event but were told by staff that they were no longer there. The staff members that spoke to the men said that they were very pale and had no eyebrows or eyelashes and that they looked completely identical. One female staff member even said that they looked as though both men's hair was fake as if they were wearing wigs to cover the fact that they were bald. The staff member also claimed that both men had very large deep blue eyes and that the entire time they spoke they never blinked once. If you look closely at the footage of the two men entering the hotel, you can see the man on the left appears to be having trouble keeping his feet straight as he walks. Did the guests witness some kind of alien spacecraft above their hotel? And were these the mysterious men in black that have been reported to appear after many UFO sightings? If so, were they top level government agents sent to assess the case or could they have been aliens looking to erase any knowledge of their existence? On the 31st of January 2013, 21-year-old Eliza Lamb disappeared while staying at the Cecil Hotel in downtown LA. Lamb, a student at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, was travelling at the time of her disappearance and the alarm was raised after she failed to contact her parents the day she was scheduled to check out of the hotel. When the police failed to locate Lamb, they decided to release the video footage of an elevator security camera in the hotel in an effort to collect more information. In the footage, Lamb can be seen moving very strangely as if she's hiding from someone or something. She can be seen entering the elevator calmly before pressing several of the buttons on the panel. She then stands back and seems to wait for the doors to close. Suddenly, she lunges forward and looks down the hallway before standing up against the wall. She then exits the elevator before returning, pressing more buttons on the panel. She exits the elevator one final time and can be seen communicating with something before wandering off down the hallway. When the footage was released publicly, it went viral. In the first 10 days, it received more than 3 million views and 40,000 comments on the Chinese video sharing site Yuko. Many of the viewers said they found the footage unsettling and difficult to watch. Shortly after her disappearance, hotel guests began complaining of black, strange tasting water and low water pressure. When the maintenance staff went to investigate, they discovered the body of Eliza Lamb floating inside one of the water tanks. Despite a thorough police investigation, several inconsistencies of Lamb's disappearance has never been answered. The autopsy report deemed her death to be accidental. However, the police noted that the eight-foot-high tanks, which were located on the roof of the hotel, were only accessible with a key and almost impossible to enter without a ladder. Many theories have attempted to explain Lamb's disappearance, from murder to the supernatural. Her death has even been noted for its eerie similarities to the 2005 horror film Dark Water. In the film, a mother and daughter move into a rundown apartment building with a dysfunctional elevator. Discolored water eventually leads them to the water tank on the roof where they discover the body of a girl who's been reported missing a year earlier. To this day, the fate of Eliza Lamb remains a mystery. This mysterious video was taken on a road in Qingtai, China. 
As the two white vans approach the intersection, something very strange happens. Suddenly, the two vans lift into the air and get pushed backwards, almost as though a very strong gust of wind picks them up and shakes them out. What could have happened to these vans? What sort of strange force has the power to lift two vans into the air with such ease? This footage was taken from a dash cam somewhere in Russia. As the traffic is driving along, the semi-trailer suddenly begins to swerve, nearly colliding with oncoming traffic. At first, it's difficult to see why the truck swerves, but then the answer becomes apparent. A man wearing what looks to be a lab coat seems to appear out of nowhere. Several theories have attempted to explain this bizarre event. It's been suggested that the man could be a scientist from the future, who miscalculated a time travel teleportation. If you look closely, however, you can actually see the man crossing the road in front of the truck. What is difficult to explain, however, is the relaxed and almost robotic reaction the man has after his near-fatal miss. He simply turns, puts his hands in his lab coat pockets, and calmly walks off down the road. Why was this man attempting to cross the road in the first place? There seems to be nothing but empty fields on the other side. What do you think is happening in this video? We'd love to get your opinion. Let us know in the comments section below. This mysterious video was posted in 2014 by a man known only as Ted, who claims to have been a police officer since 1983. After responding to a domestic disturbance in Delray, Detroit, Ted says he heard some strange noises coming from a neighboring house, so he decided to take a closer look. As he approaches the house, which appears to be burnt out and abandoned, the officer pans the camera towards an old newspaper clipping before calling out to see if anyone's inside. Suddenly, a ghoulish face appears in the upstairs window before disappearing into the darkness. It's later revealed in the video that the article that the police officer found was about a woman named Rose Varez, who was known as the Witch of Del Rey. Varez was thought to have murdered up to 12 men in the 1930s, however her neighbours were too scared to testify against her because they believed she had supernatural powers that could make their children sick. Could the ghostly face that the police officer saw in the window of this burnt out old house be that of the infamous Delray Witch? In 2015, a CCTV camera in a Taiwanese alleyway captured this unnerving and creepy footage. As the heavy rain pours down, a man can be seen walking down the alleyway towards his parked motorbike. Just as the man reaches his bike, a young girl in a red dress mysteriously appears alongside the parked van at the opposite end of the alleyway. As the footage continues, a motorbike can be seen riding past in the background. If you take a closer look as the bike passes, however, you can see the wheels of the bike through the little girl's head. What makes this video even creepier is the fact that in Taiwan, there's an urban legend known as the Girl in Red, a ghost of a young girl dressed in a red dress that stalks and haunts her victims. This video was filmed in a hospital in Guadalajara, Mexico. It shows an orderly laughing and joking around for the camera when suddenly a mysterious dark figure walks by the window. As the person holding the camera rushes to investigate, the two open the door and head into what appears to be an operating theatre. Suddenly, a table begins to move for no apparent reason. The startled pair quickly leave the room and as they do, the camera holder does a full 360 degree sweep of the room. There's no one else in the room and no other door that the mysterious figure could have entered or exited from. What was this shadowy figure? Could it have been the ghost of someone that passed away in this very operating room? In 2015, a floating city appeared in the clouds above Foshan in the Guangdong province of China. It was witnessed by thousands of people and footage of the mysterious city in the clouds even made the Chinese news. Many theories tried to explain the strange city in the sky. 
Some said it was part of a top-secret NASA-funded project known as Project Bluebeam, technology that can reportedly project large-scale holograms into the clouds. Others speculated that it could have been a doorway to an alternate reality that opened for just long enough to allow stunned onlookers to get a glimpse of another world. It wasn't the first time a city in the clouds has been spotted either. In 2011, this footage was taken in Huangsheng City in China's Anhui province. What do you think these mysterious cities could be? Are they an optical illusion, government testing, or a gateway to another world? Let us know in the comments section below. Well, that's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Now, in the comments section below, let us know which one of these videos you thought was the most mysterious. If you're enjoying our content, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, and that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.